hello everyone welcome to our channel uh, today I'm gonna do another video about tutorial where I'm gonna teach you how to make this awesome animation or animated button which you can use it for your own projects or pretty much use it anywhere else okay uh, if you guys are new to our channel consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos if you are into learn uh, or learn various designing softwares and you want to consider subscribing to our channel so without further ado let's get started um, so I'll be using the Photoshop um, CC for this video uh, and I'm gonna start uh, from scratch I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to make that animated image so for that you want to create a file for this uh, I forgot to show you, you can pretty much make any size you want. In this case, I used uh, 900 pixels by 500 pixels. Uh, I just unlocked the layer. I'm gonna put a default color, so we'll use color overlay. And uh, we can put any color, but in this case, uh, I'm gonna use blue. Alright, now, just so you know, guys, if you wanna use that button on something else, you wanna make sure when you export this you have a transparent background i'm gonna come back to that later on at the end of the video all right so we'll get started with uh, three circles over here so the first circle we're gonna draw is uh, about this all right we'll keep it uh i'll rasterize this uh, circle and we'll center this circle just somewhere around here now i'm gonna also um, put guidelines uh, for this image uh, the reason I'm putting guideline is because I'm gonna link this PDF file in the description down below so you guys can use it for your own project and if you have guideline it becomes easier to design right I'm gonna create or maybe before creating another we will name it as uh, background circle oh I spelled it wrong who cares or, or maybe I'll change it okay now uh, you can apply effects to this uh, circle so we'll apply a color overlay to this circle uh, maybe we'll keep about uh, maybe like this I'm gonna quickly apply a couple of effects you can pretty much play around and you can apply whatever effects you want to apply um, normal this looks uh, pretty good I'm gonna apply another effect which is the inner glow uh, looks pretty good I already used this effect in previous uh, uh, design so it's picking up from the previous work and that's the other cool thing about uh, the Photoshop and the last effect is the drop shadow effect and this looks pretty good now I'll just um, close this I'll, I'm gonna make another copy of this uh, and I'm gonna shrink it down somewhere about here now see if you have a guideline set already it gets so easy to design we'll keep it somewhere around here all right now I'm gonna hide all this effects because we don't want this effect except this and in this color overlay I'm gonna apply the same color as this one well for more uh, effect we can use an effect over here which is the outer glow instead of white uh, oh it's black already okay so use black over here I'll increase the size so this looks pretty good okay now I'm gonna draw another circle um, let's draw it from here now this circle will align it in a way that it's perfectly centered on the top part because this will be our animating uh, circle okay or this circle is the one which is gonna go around in the loop all right so we'll rasterize this i'll apply a color overlay effect and i want to make this bright and catchy so i'm gonna use um maybe this or something bright yeah this looks pretty good and it's too bright so here's what i'll do i'll apply a clipping mask uh, to the background circle okay now it's not uh, in effect because the background layer has a lot of uh, 
uh, effects on it so we have to rasterize this layer as soon as we rasterize this layer uh, it's gonna come up okay. all right sorry that didn't really happen because we forgot to name this that's why i like to keep everything organized now this wasn't the background circle this was the foreground circle so I just changed the name to foreground circle and this is the background circle so we'll apply a clipping mask to actually this layer okay now it's it's not uh, uh, let's apply a clipping mask because it went away and now I'm gonna hide all this effect by uh, rasterizing this layer type and there you go okay now it looks pretty good uh, you can see our our animating circle is pretty much ready and we just want to make it go around in this pattern okay all right i'm just gonna see that it's centered yep it's perfectly centered now uh for since it's a button we have to add text so i'm gonna add text click um now to save time i'm not gonna apply a lot of effects over here i'm just gonna apply the gradient overlay and uh, maybe i'll throw some outer glow over here this is a little bit too much i'm gonna decrease it and that looks perfect okay all right now i'm gonna create another copy of this layer um i'm gonna move it down and i'm gonna name it as here okay and now i'm gonna adjust the size of this layer uh, just keep it centered it as big as it can be so I'm gonna move it down just somewhere around here click and now I'm gonna make another copy of click and I'm gonna make it as uh, now I'm gonna resize this again so that it fills up space and it's just me uh, that's how I like my designs to be so this looks pretty neat all right so that's the main design now we're gonna animate this uh, uh, this button right here and for that I had the timeline open already uh, so I'm gonna use that um, over here all right now this is the timeline you gotta hit this button right here to create video timeline so now what it, it's gonna do is import all this to the timeline okay now the timeline can be as long as you want uh, we don't want a longer timeline because it's a, a button now we're gonna go on to this layer right here so if you can't find it just click here and it's gonna pick up the layer right here and if you open that layer you get this option so um, it shows position opacity and style for now we're gonna use the position uh, animation all right now I want my animation to be fluent as you saw earlier in the picture so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the interval as 10 frames because then it's fluent if you keep it longer then it's, it's gonna be a little bit laggy which we don't want so we'll start our animation from here all right so you hit this uh, keyframe or the uh, icon right here once you hit that you will see a keyframe right here so that's the start point all right which will be here now you just drag the timeline over to wherever you want in this case i'm gonna put the 10 10 frame 10 frame now all you want to do is just move this circle to your desired place in this case i'm gonna align it to this part all right this this half of the rectangle so it added another keyframe already by itself so from here to here this is the animation now another 10th frame which will be the 20th frame in total i'm gonna move this down to right here now the guidelines one of the reason why i put it is because of this so that it's easier for you guys to edit and you have the guidelines uh, and you saw me you dra dragging the da guidelines so if you if you wanna drag the guidelines it's, it's right from here uh, so that's the 20th frame and it comes to here and now we'll go on to the 30th frame and I'm gonna move it right over here and then the last frame we, we're gonna bring it back up to its original position which is this one okay 
So there you go, the animation is complete. Now this part right here that's the start of our animation and this is the end. And we don't want our end to be that far so I'm gonna drag it and make it. Make sure you at least keep it here because uh, if you keep it here then it's not gonna pick up the last part. All right. Now this is important, you want to go in the setting and you want to keep the loop playback on because if you don't, it's not going to keep on going round and round, okay? So here's how it's going to look, alright? Don't worry about this distortion, it's going to be okay when we export this. So this is how, this is pretty much it. We have done our animation, we have done the designing part and everything is just ready to be exported. So we'll just stop this. Uh, we drag the keyframe to the start. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of options for exporting. So when you go in the export, you can quick export as PNG. That's portable network, portable uh, network graphic, uh, which we usually don't use because uh, if you're considering an animated image format, it's only one, which is GIF. I believe so. It stands for um, graphic uh, in. Uh, I guess it's uh, uh, something graphic inter interface or something. So we'll just center this. Uh, so we'll, we want to make sure that it's GIF because that's the only one which is going to show the animation. You can use web bit, bit, bitmap as well, but um, I'll just use GIF to make it simple. Okay. Now, if you export this, the background is also going to come with the image. All right. For now, I'm keeping the background, but let's say if you guys want to use this image or this button on something else, let's say you designed a web page or something and you want to use it on. You want to make sure that you hide this layer so the background is transparent and the GIF images also take a transparent background and then you can put it wherever you want. You can resize it from here uh, which I wouldn't do I would just make the file uh, resized uh, in the first place. Um, you don't want to play around with all the other options uh, you want to make sure that it's forever over here because uh, then only it's gonna go round and round. You don't want to add any noise or diffusion or anything over here. I usually keep it no diether so all the effects are preserved. Uh, the colors uh, I use 256 so image size is gonna be a bit bigger. If you want to make it smaller you can change the color size but then sometimes the details are lost too which you can see right here okay so we'll keep it 256 it's fairly small 81 kilobyte that's a very fairly small image and now we'll just before um, finalizing we'll just see how it looks it looks great it looks just what i wanted so i'll stop here and we'll just save it um, and you can save it as whatever you want so in this case i'm going to save it as a gf button and then i'm going to save the pdf file as well uh psd file as well uh, i did one already i'm going to save it as new so our photoshop document is saved and i'm going to show you guys uh, the image we saved it on desktop and this is the image so this is how it looks so i hope you guys found this video helpful uh, please consider subscribing to our channel i'm gonna put a lot of other tutorials out there uh, more specifically for animation so i hope you found this video helpful uh, please leave me a comment down below uh, let me know if you like this uh, image and don't hesitate to use this graphic because i'm gonna link it in the description down below the original photoshop file and the animated file uh, so that's pretty much it signing out. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video